critical thinking. First of all, what is critical thinking? What is critical thinking? What, what is critical thinking? Huh? What? That is the correct answer. Critical thinking is really thinking. Just think. All right, let's just think about something. Think about the maybe. Think about the possibly. Think about the might. Think about the could. You know, just think about, you know, if, things like that. There's no perfect answer. There's often no wrong answer, but sometimes. We're just thinking. So, what we're going to think about at the start today, continue next week, are...
Critical thinking then is coming to the English classrooms of Vietnam and I'm sure many of you are worried about it. Perhaps you are worried because you don't understand it. Perhaps you are worried because you don't think you have any ideas. Or perhaps you just don't like it because you think it's a Western idea that is not appropriate to Vietnamese culture. Certainly I feel there needs to be more discussion about it, but in case there isn't, watch the video again and ask yourself, is this something I can do? Now perhaps the topic of um, going to the moon is a little bit difficult, so make the topic easier for you and the students. Give yourself something relatable that you and the students can understand, can relate to. So a topic um, that could well come up is uh, the advantages and disadvantages of aircon in the classroom. <laughs> Critical thinking can be confusing, so take it step by step. Take it slowly and carefully, build up your confidence and choose a class that you think will try to do this. Critical thinking and problem solving skills are key skills identified by the Vietnamese government that they want to try to improve. But we don't need to rush it. In this video I initially helped the students with ideas and carried the activity over to the next class. But in the next two critical thinking videos they did more of the work themselves and the results were fine. So, some advantages and disadvantages of this activity. Well, the first advantage is that this is a new requirement from MOIT. We are going to have to do this, but how is up to us, though? The second advantage is that it delivers a nice change of pace in the classroom. The students and you are thinking about things rather than passively accepting information. Some disadvantages, um, of which there are probably quite a few. Firstly, it's a new approach and that's, this might be confusing, challenging or inappropriate. Secondly, does this help students get higher marks? Um, I feel it will, but I guess I'm the one who needs to prove it. Thirdly, you might feel uncomfortable. What happens if the student argues an idea that you do not understand or feel is wrong? What do you do? If you like this activity, then there are some more activities to find. And if you like those activities, please hit the subscribe button below. Have fun, enjoy, and happy teaching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.